Jack! <laughs> Year 10 Jack has arrived late for his geography lesson. Right, I'm going to stop this right now. Why have you just walked into my room with what looks like half a Sunday lunch? Starving. <laughs> Jack, go inside a second, please. When I get bored, I just, like, I get this thing in me, like, I just want to mess about and just do something what I'm going to get in trouble for. Jack! He's stolen a ukulele. We're asking if it does Earlier this term, Jack was given a final warning by head teacher Mr. Povey after repeated disruptive behaviour. I can't control myself. Like some kind of switch in me, what just turns me out. I look back at myself about an hour later and just go, what have I just done? I feel misunderstood by the teachers because they don't actually think where it's actually coming back from, like, it's probably kicked off at home. <laughs> my dad's ill and then my mum's looking after him, so it's quite stressful as well. Year 10 Jack is returning to Harrotfold after a two-week respite at another local school. Jack is a real character. Great kid, but can do some blooming stupid things as well. Come on, Jack. Looks good. All right. Time to no sit. Get into this. Come on. He's one of those students that can get staff to almost breaking point. I mean, we talk about driving people up the wall. Jack, for me, drives people up the wall, across the ceiling, and back down the other side. So we're back from respite. Mm. Tell me what we can expect from you. Stop wondering, and um, like stop being late to lessons, and um, respect the teachers, and get like staying on a good path. Harrop is a really good school because they're not one of them people who just give you one chance and then say, right, you're going. They'll give you about 55 million trillion, so I appreciate it. There are going to be no more, oh, it's just Jack being Jack. I reckon the best way to, like, find out for yourself is a report. OK. Do you, you want to go on report? Yeah. To me? Yeah. OK, let's start that today. Mm. So first day, on report, let's get this nailed. And you show people what you're capable of. I do need to get me head down and get in GCSEs. But when it actually gets to me actually saying that and then actually doing it is a completely different story. Now that Jack has returned from respite, Mr Povey has a challenge for him. Jack is at his very best when he's given some responsibility and we ask him to step up. I was thinking, how about you have a baby for the day? <laughs> you up for it? Um... Chilled about it. You're pretty chilled about it. You're chilled about being a dad, of all things. OK, I mean, do you want a baby? I was like, what? And I was like, um, I was like, go on then. And if we give it to you, are you going to be sensible and responsible? Because yeah, what's that throwing the baby about? You have to really look after it. Mm. Yeah? You up for it? Um. What are you going to call him? George. George. Well, oh. you just grab its head. You know, <laughs> I mean, Oscar. Oscar. Yeah. Had that. They probably thought, it, they give it, they thought, I'd rather just kick it about from it. Oscar till I die. I'm Oscar till I die. I think I'd be a good dad. <laughs> you're all laughing because you're jealous. I'm a new dad. Proud of himself. Next lesson for Jack is geography. Excuse me, newly born baby coming through. <laughs> To be responsible, it's like, so you're in charge of something, so you want to prove yourself you can do something on your own instead of everyone looking at you saying you can't do something. Yes. yes I think nah, you stop. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> cry, stop. <laughs> I took it seriously and actually treated it like it was an actual child. I know it's not exactly the real thing. I know the real thing would be a lot harder in real life, but I know what I'm doing. Sir, I made it stop crying. <laughs> I thought it would have just made me more giddy, but it didn't. It just made me more responsible. Year 10 Jack is in maths. He's still on report to Mr Povey to track his behaviour and progress. OK, so the first question on your sheet is as follows. Five times nine is what? 45. 45, thanks, Jack. Whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. 
OK, so that's going to be 9 times 4? 36. 36, thank you. Right, everybody attempt question 2. All right, let's sh 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 give you a hand on this one. Look at the denominator. Yeah. Seven. Seven, so yeah. it's going to be just four minus three. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be one over seven. OK? OK, now you can do the subtraction oh, because you yeah. get the, the, the so eight common denominator. three would be five and five over 12. Uh, correct, absolutely right. Yeah. Try the next one along. Today's been actually quite good. In maths, for example, I've just got one more lesson. I've actually achieved something. Instead of going out of the lesson and getting done or moaned up, I'm getting browsed instead. I'm really pleased with what you've been doing today, so thank you for that. Do I get a five? Yeah, you get a five, for definitely a five. Really good, thank you.